Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back into the labyrinth of annoyance. And we're gonna take a very direct route. Once again, we're not gonna do any exploration. We're just gonna take the direct route. You'll see why I'm doing this soon enough. Oh, look at that, we're here. <laughs> so, yeah, here's Mitch. He's being imprisoned. I'm the fighting club master. Yet I have been so cruelly incarcerated. Oh, man. Oh, man. And, oh, I should actually do. I just remembered something. I'm gonna put that for the sake of dialogue. Ha 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 ha! Come on, come on, come on! It is I, Tony of Team GR's Fighting Fortress. I don't negotiate. It's pointless. I'd much rather fight with cards. I just loathe people who try to drain my spirit or energy. I hate all decks with energy removal and super energy removal cards. <sighs> if your deck includes some of those cards, I won't fight you. <laughs> Let's tear my heart out, won't you? Otherwise, I'll be stuck using weak moves or doing nothing at all. I'll wager the club master here that you'll lose in a duel with me. Now allow me to begin this fight, Mint. Yes. I can see a rule violation. I thought you missed <laughs> I thought you understood. Remove your energy removal and super energy removal cards, pronto. Come back when you're substituted. I won't fight until then. Actually, what I planned on doing, because I haven't used it in a while, was to use the fireweed deck. Instead, this will also help versus the cards that he's got and whatnot in general, but anyway. I hope you're prepared, for I'm ready to begin our card battle. Remember, no energy removal or super energy removal cards allowed. You didn't have to remind me. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, let's begin! No, 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 no! I want to defeat you. Okay, okay, fine, fine. <laughs> Four prize cards now! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Rock Blast deck, and that's why I'm using Grass Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, it's the ground rock type Pokemon that are double weak against grass Pokemon. And I, also, I also said, because you know, it's useful because it just kind of, kind of, I haven't used this deck in a while. And, <laughs> and yeah, uh, so Scyther, you're going up first because of the fighting resistance, Bulbasaur, you're going on the bench. Wait, he doesn't have any bench Pokemon? Uh oh. And his deck doesn't have that many basics in general. So that might be. Okay, he's got uh, Bill plus Lickitung, but I mean, yeah. Oh, another bill. But I was gonna say that uh, you sometimes just sweep him before he gets any bench Pokemon. That's kind of sad. <laughs> and paralysis for poor like there. But less, but less. We'll be able to power up soon enough. First off, plop that on site there, and then we're done. <laughs> just no, no other choice besides that. And then I'll be able to nick away with 30, or maybe, maybe I'll even be able to get a Swords Dance 60. Wow, scratch damage from Digger. <laughs> That's pretty rare. Um, well, nope, not getting that. And Lickitung is getting the power is up, Buzz. And the Paralysis too. Wow. You are a lucky coin flipper today. Um, I guess... Hmm. Hmm. As long as I'm not... Yeah, as long as I have to wait a turn anyway, I should probably do that. <laughs> so I'll just do that and see how things go. But maybe I'll be able to Swords Dance it up. No, I can't! <laughs> oh, come on! Like every coin flip's been perfect for him so far. Uh, okay, Recycle Energy on Scyther. It may very well get knocked out at this rate, but... <laughs> I might actually just, I don't know, retreat it to something if need be. We'll see. Um, unbelievable! That's... that's insane! <laughs> I got Bill. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. Another Bill and a Charmeleon. And Pokemon Trader, the boss's way. Okay, so now we got something going here. We got Charmeleon, Charmeleon. So I, I want to trade a Charmeleon for something. Probably Charman there. <laughs> but then the boss's way wouldn't let me do dark. Yeah. Hmm. I could go just go with the regular Charmeleon too. So many possibilities. So little time! Okay, I'm gonna, at the very least, trade 
said Charmeleon. I'll save the Venusaur in case I get an I. Well, actually, I could just go for the Ivy too, but it costs so much energy. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna actually go for this Charmander and plop that out there. Give it a little power up and call it a turn. Now watch him get head flip again. That would be just unreal if you get. Okay. <laughs> We can finally attack with Scyther. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go just plop that on there and attack with Slash. It's mainly just to do some nicking damage for the future more than anything. Not, not. I mean, it, it, Lickitung just doesn't do that much damage in general, so I'm not really concerned about it per se. It's just I have not been able to attack. <laughs> so it's just kind of focusing on other stuff. Okay, I'll focus also on doing a Charmeleon set up on the background. Should I go for the dark or regular? I guess it'll probably the regular. Because I'm going to be able to keep recycling that energy if I go for regular Charizard. So, yeah. Oh, oh that's right. Never mind. <laughs> whatever, whatever. And if... Bulbasaur doesn't get knocked out, I can switch over to Charmeleon, and uh, then I will be able to wipe that out pretty quickly with the ye olde flamethrower. <laughs> Paralyzed again! <laughs> what the heck? Well, well, I just got a plan for it. Wait, 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 hold on! Instant heal! Haha, <laughs> thank you, top deck! Thank you, top deck! And with Leech Seed, now that will put him in kind of a tough spot, because I get to heal a little bit per turn that I am able to attack. So, yeah, well, <laughs> of course, of course, you get another head flip. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> Alright, let's go for that. Uh, yeah, done. <laughs> so... Uh, Digger, you gonna get heads, then I'm gonna get tails. There's heads. And I get tails! <laughs> this is like the most unlucky game I think I've ever had. <laughs> is he is he using a game shark or something? <laughs> Alright, so if I'm going for regular Charizard or just mega attacking as usual I'm gonna have to do it like so and we shall go mm -hmm. oh, oh. there's no way this can't be real <laughs> uh, I guess I'll energy search for grass because I, I still have Venusaur, you know, that's... yeah. <laughs> I'm not, not really that concerned about getting knocked out considering he's in stall mode as well, so... Yeah. Alright. No paralysis of this time for you, bucko. <laughs> uh, and double colorless for possible future Charizard. Um... Yeah, I don't have any other grass hanging out there. So I think I'm just going to do this, and then Leech Seed instead of the Knockout, because I could stall for a little bit more, and if I get another Grass, then I'll just Im evolve instantly to Venusaur, increase the HP, etc, etc. And Paralysis is not working for you now, is it? Ha ha ha! Professor Oak, very nice. Okay, so now I can pretty much guess that I'm going to get Grass Energy out of that. Um... Recycle energy will come back to my hand. Uh, yep, we're done with that, so we're just gonna discard that. And pop that recycle energy back to my hand. There we go. Um, wait, actually, don't I have to check the discard pile? Yeah, um, recycle energy. Uh, when this card is discarded, you may put it back in your... It didn't let me... Put it, yeah. Shouldn't that have let me put it back in my hand? That did count as a discard. Yeah. 
Okay. I. I. Uh, I. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I got the regular Charizard. All right. Uh, no other basics, but we're we're in pretty good position right now, anyway. Jeez. Okay, here comes the heads. Here comes the heads. There it is. <laughs> wow, that's just unbelievable. He's got to be game sharking. Got to be. I'll <laughs> uh, get a dark charmeleon going and call it a turn. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tongue wrap. Oh, oh. <laughs> not working for you now, huh? I think it's kind of too late because, yeah, he's at the 30 threshold. Um, Dark Dog Trio will do. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how things go. Mm, yeah, it's just Solar Beam. <laughs> And I uh, get my first prize card after ages of stalling. <laughs> All right, will it do 20 more damage? Probably. Oh wow, really? <laughs> that's. Oh wait. Oh yeah, right. Because uh, nah, yeah, that's it, it did. <laughs> I thought it was a head flip that I was going for. I'm dumb. I was just clicking through stuff because this, this is taking long enough. Dang it. And now it's time to fire spin things into oblivion. <laughs> we, we've waited long enough with this duel. So many. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna he's gonna get twelve head flips in a row, and I won't be able to touch the lickitung. <laughs> Actually, I probably should just not attack this time because use defender. Uh, because I'll only be able to do 80 damage instead of 100, which will leave it with just 10 HP. So that's actually a very, very good move there I, by using Defender on Lickitung. But I will continue to energy burn those energy cards for the future anyway. And yeah, I'm just going to focus on sweeping with Charizard here. I've got enough energy cards for that twice over. Another Defender, wow. And, of course, Paralysis. I, but I'm not going to attack anyway, because for the same reason. It just just kind of wastes energy cards. Because otherwise I have to use Fire Spin twice, which is a discard of four. And I'm not going to attach any more to Charizard. I'm just going to go... I forgot to evolve into Dark Charmeleon. And... yeah. I also got Dark Charizard a common as well, with the Continuous Fireball. I could evolve that right on the next turn as well. And Paralyzed? Of course! Of course you would! What? 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 Why would you get some other coin flip? Just... <laughs> uh, oh, 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 that's right. Oh wait, why did I actually be out of that? It's this one. Uh... Yeah, I might as well. No, no, no. Actually, I should boss his way something and then Pokemon Trader, the Dark Charmeleon away, so I can get something else. Ah, that's using the noodle. Because, <laughs> yeah, I already used the Dark Charmeleon line, then what I'll do is grab another Scyther for the fighting resistance and do nothing else. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with that, because chances are he will get a Tails eventually. Right? <laughs> okay, that was a Tails at least, but will the Tongue Wrap be a Heads or a Tails? It got a Tails, alright, so his luck with that Lick of Tongue has <laughs> finally ran out somehow. And we will continue to... Well, actually, I'll go for that one. We'll continue to put the pressure on the attacker of Paralysis. Alright, so one more attack will be a victory. It's I've even got resistance to uh, fighting here with Charizard, as you know, so you can do that if you'd like. And... Alright! Mother of Arceus! <laughs> it's like the, the, one of the most unlucky duels I have ever had. Ever. <laughs> ah, I was beaten! Yeah, Mission Booster Pack. Probably got all these cards by now because we got so many of these. Oh, the Rocket's Trap. This is um, 
from the Gym Heroes expansion, but yeah, it's actually in this game. See that symbol over there? Flip a coin if I had to choose up the three cards at random from your opponent's hand. Don't look at them. And then they shuffle them into the deck. That's, uh, that could be pretty powerful if you actually get it. But, you know, it's the coin flip that's kind of the balancer. Because just think, just ripping cards out of your opponent's hands that they might have been planning to use for the future. It's sort of like, I guess you could say, Imposter Professor Oak in a way, in that sort of sense. Only it's a minus every time. And anyway, let's keep on going here. We've seen that, seen that. Yeah. <laughs> and a salt booster pack. Ooh. Mmm. Oh, Jesus, this Nine Tails. Uh, remember that other Nine Tails? You flipped nine coins for its attack? Well, anyway, there's, first off, there's this mix up here. Um, it's. You. If your opponent has any basic Pokemon or Evolution cards in their hand, they place them back in their deck. But then an equal number of basic and or Evolution cards is chosen at random. So it's a Game Boy thing because of the randomization aspect of things, and then Dancing Embers, 8 coins instead of 9, so it's still pretty annoying to be up against this because of all those coin flips. It can be pretty powerful though, averages at 40. Uh, Dodrio, hey, one less to retreat, your active Pokémon, thanks to Retreat Aid. Um, you can combine that with, uh, uh, Brooks' rule on water Pokémon having one less, yeah, and then <laughs> if you wanted to. Uh, oh yeah, and Rage. And plus 10 more damage, similar to Flail of Magikarp, only with 10 extra. <laughs> uh, Game Boy Tangela, I think you've seen this one before, it causes paralysis and causes poison. Uh, fossil Excavation, you've seen that. The cycle, oh yeah, uh, you can put a card in your discard pile on top of your deck to get, but that's not really as consistent as other, well, I guess you could call it recycling cards, so. Eh. Eh, I guess it's an option if you plan on recycling a lot. Like, it, to make use out of more than four trainer cards that you want to use, so to speak. Like, say, a bunch of energy removal or something like that, but... I don't know, I, don't know. I still think there's better options than that. Uh, you've seen that. Oh, here's Foul Gas Coughing. Poisoned. If heads, tails, it's confused. Good, good attack, but two energy... Specifically, grass energy, so yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah, that's that's a this is the Nidoran that has a uh, attack, prevent, attack prevention, unless there is a switch involved. And that actually kind of reminds me like uh, of smoke screen in a way because benching a Pokemon annuls the smoke screen of Magmar, and Poison Spleen does the poisoning, of course. Uh, know that, know that, okay. Oh, actually, maybe you don't know that, Pidgey. Because it's, it's, that's the Pidgey that has, it's kind of tricky to power up, it has 40 HP, 10 for the attack power, it's called Whirlwind, and what happens is that it, you force a switch of the opponent's Pokémon. But, so you can double colorless that, but you know, the 40 HP is kind of kind of iffy, and you might not always have a double colorless because you max out at 4 in your deck. But anyway, <laughs> beaten, beaten, I was beaten. I lost the gamble, which means I lost the club master as well. Open. Thank you, Mint. You saved me. It seems my training wasn't good enough to avoid capture. <laughs> This is an expression of my gratitude. Please accept it. Behold, cool Porygon, which is probably the best version of Porygon. <laughs> In fact, yeah, it's a promotional card. You can change the resistance of Porygon and change the defending Pokémon's weakness in one attack. That's uh, that's a little bit of a turn accelerator, assuming you've got the power up for that. But you know. You know, again, double colorless loot. <laughs> and 3D attack, 3 coins. 20 damage times the number of heads. And... I'll head back over to the fighting club. 50 HP for cool Porygon is iffy, though. I like It's better than other Porygons, though. I'd like to go together with you, but I can see you prefer to stay. You can see it in my eyes. After that energy removal debacle, I had to beat him. And the rest of these guys. <laughs> Are you certain, Tony? I'm, I am to take these booster packs? 
Ha ha ha! I don't mind, I don't mind. We have an arrangement that must be honored since I've been defeated. Thank them! They're fifth edition packs. That's the flight series. I see. Then I suppose this is goodbye. Do -do 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 -do. I'm strong when someone's on the line, but you're much stronger. Mint, do what you like. I'll be here fighting on. Alright, I didn't come back. Never mind. Let's fight, Mint! But first, I must ask you, have you removed the cards I hate? Of course, I speak of energy removal and super energy removal. If your deck is clear of them, let's do No. No, you don't want to fight! Ah, so bored! Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> and I'm just keep, gonna keep on following this path until we get back to where we started at. We'll focus on that, that, that labyrinth soon enough, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna continue using my deck as is, just because, just because, I don't know. <laughs> I have word that you defeated both Grace and Tony Mint. Let's get to our battle immediately, but heed this warning. I am focused on discipline. I can unleash fighting types full power. All fighting type Pokemon here ignore resistance when they strike, so your birds will not be able to resist. Even if a foe has a minus 30 to fighting attacks, they hit at full force. So what will you do? Are you still willing to fight me? No, that's scary. I see fear has crept into your will because of my sheer power. That is the mark of a coward! Oh shoot, that was actually... Wait, wait, wait. Have you come to challenge me with my power of the fighting type? Fighting Pokemon attacks never incur resistance from any foes here. If you still wish to challenge me, let's begin this brutal battle. I'll show you my mastery of fighting in a six prize all-out battle, and please, for the love of Arceus, don't you dare get that many coin flips <laughs> in your favor. <laughs> so Earth Power is in play, and we go. I'm pretty sure this will be a pretty good matchup overall, I think. Probably. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, so, I got the Charmanders. Oh, that actually might be bad. But, I mean, I, I can use Boss's Way to get a Dark Charmeleon. I, I guess. I didn't get the head scoring flip, but... Oh, that's Kangaskhan. That's, that'll take forever to actually do Comet Punch, so I think we're good. <laughs> Oh, another Charmander. Oh, that makes me wonder if I should, uh... Actually power up the other Charmander into Charmeleon on the on the bench. And then just... yeah... Hmm... I wonder... we'll see... we'll see. And... It could very well be a very quick battle, actually, too, because... Uh, we both have pretty high attack power cards. Pokémon Trader, yes! Okay, so, here's the plan, now that I've got Pokémon Trader. Um, we're gonna go for the boss's way. We're gonna ga grab a... Actually, we're gonna see first what we have in the deck. And, you know, that's not prize cards or something. So yeah, I got Dark Charmeleon in the plan, but is Dark Charizard in there? Yes, it is. Okay. So, my plan will go through. So, Dark Charmeleon's gonna be plopped on there. Oh, that's right, okay, whatever. <laughs> then I flame flame tail. And then when I get uh, some other Pokemon card, it, it doesn't matter which Pokemon card, I can just swap over uh, that Pokemon into Charizard, well, Dark Charizard, and then kind of do a hopefully nice sleep. Oh, I, I just drew Dark Charizard! <laughs> I guess I'll save Pokemon Trader for something else. Alright, plopping that on there. And should I just... should I put pressure on him? Like, by doing a retreat and then... Continuous fireballing? Because chances are I'm only going to get one heads out of this. Yeah, now you discard one energy card. One for every heads, and that's 50 for every heads. So I only needed that one. Yeah, you gotta be very careful with your Dark Charizard. You don't want to overdo how much damage you're doing. Like, you can... you can knock out anything with Dark Charizard if you put enough energy cards on it. But, the thing about it is that with those, you might be overextending your energy, basically. So, gotta be a little bit wary of that. Alright, continuous fireball... probably one heads. Yeah, it averages 50 when I got two energy cards like that, it's kinda expected. Alright, not too shabby so far. And, oh, Sneaky, sneaky! 
And that other guy must really hate you. <laughs> um, I guess I could do a nail flick. Uh, but I will definitely sa save up for Scyther. But yeah, I'll just plop that on there. And nail flick. I'll save the energy search for when I'm looking for something in specific. Basically. No. We'll see how that turns out. Card drawn. And back to me. Oh, Bill. Instant play is Bill. Uh, oh, wait. Bulbasaur. I could Pokemon trade up to a Ivysaur or even a Venusaur. I don't have enough energy for the uh, continuous fireball. I mean, yes, 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 I know I could have energy search, but I'm in good position here, so I think I'll just kind of coast at the moment. It's not like we have a Lickitung to deal with here. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that thing was a thing, to say the least. And do fire energy. Continuous fireball. Please don't get another heads. Oh, that's what I mean about overextending. But I had to have two energy cards to use the attack. But then it forced me to discard those two because I got two heads. But that's kind of the risk of using that attack, I suppose you could say. But I mean, it was a knockout's knockout. I don't find it really. You gotta discard it in order to get a trainer card back. He's probably gonna go for energy removal. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, against fire Pokemon, you want to keep sucking away their energy, if at all possible, so... Um... I wonder... If I should begin putting focus on the Scyther... I've got both of my Pokemon traders. I wonder if I should be putting my focus more into the Scyther or Bulbasaur. Well, at the very least, I'll Nail Flick for now, and he's just gonna discard that, probably. <laughs> There it is! <laughs> As expected. And the anger could do 20 more. Nah. But yeah, that's kind of why I was gonna. I should probably focus on something that can more quickly wipe out the Mankey when I'm able to swap it in. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in an okay position anyway. I'll just leave it as is. And I'll just be able to 30 hits with Scyther when he inevitably knocks out. Oh, he's confusing himself, really? Oh, did you really want to do that? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I guess it's alright. But, yeah, I, 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 I've, I've come prepared, to say the least. So I'm gonna go Swords Dance. And I, I guess he just really wanted to knock out that Dark Charizard. Uh, that. That's not going to be helpful if you cause confusion damage to yourself. Oh, oh, yeah, because I'm going to do double damage with the next Swords Dance, which is going to do 30 damage. And, well, well, uh, that's kind of like too much energy for Scyther, but I have to attack with it. Yeah. Oh, I should have entered. I'm an idiot. I forgot I had the energy search. Well, <laughs> this is Slash. <laughs> yeah, see, 40, Defender, I mean, it beats Defender out. Oh, there's his Scyther, and he's probably going to go for his Slashings as well. So yeah, it's Slash versus Slash. So we got to get, oh, and there's another one. So yeah, we got to get something else powered up in the back burner here. Oh. Uh, Hmm. I'll probably get a Charmeleon based on probability and whatnot. So let's just see how that turns out. Watch him plus power. <laughs> uh, fighting energy to Mankey. Oh no, just slash. Okay. So we're gonna both. Uh, we're gonna be both at 10 HP by the end of the turn. All right. So I'm still getting energy cards. So I'll just. Just keep on trucking along like this before I Professor Oak. Because I also, I don't want to discard those Pokemon Traders. Because you can use those for a lot of good, <laughs> to say the least. Alright, so Bulbasaur is going up next. I know he's got a lot of a lot of attack power coming here, but we're, we're okay. We're, I assure you we're okay. There's still a lot of prize cards to go. And we're going to knock out Scyther with the 10 damage. Tackle. Nice. 
good old stall Magmar. Although I can't get as many head flips as out of one guy. <laughs> Actually, it would be tail flips in my case, because for the, uh... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. But basically the best coin flip that I'm looking for. Alright. So, Charmander. Now, this is what I'm saying. Pokemon Trader. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm moving the Magmar back, but I'm getting a Charmeleon in return. And then I'm going to Energy Search for the Fire. Take that Fire, plop it on that Mander. Take that Charmeleon, plop it on that Charmeleon. And... I guess Flamethrower. <laughs> I was thinking, should I Professor Oak, or should I see if I get another thing that I can trade for? Eh, we'll see what I can trade for. He's not going to be able to knock out the Charmeleon at full HP, regardless of what he has. Because none of the evolution lines there can do that much damage. Oh, hello! <laughs> Energy removal has returned. And... Now, I wonder if that other guy just made up that rule, just like, I can't be Brutus! So I'm making up this rule so that you cannot use energies. Uh, actually, I'm going to place that on the energy removal tiny. I'm going to place that on the bench, and then I'm going to go... I'm not going to do any switches, so I'm going to do this. Grab those fires, plop one on Charmeleon, and call it a turn. I'm not too concerned, as I said, with uh, the knockouts. I mean, yeah, he could get... Oh, ooh, that's a good, good move there, actually. Unless you don't put it on Mankey, what? <laughs> okay. I okay. I don't know. Ooh, hungry Snorlax. Um I'm gonna go do the flamethrower O. And yeah, Pokemon Trader is just uh, Trader is just such a versatile card that Yeah, I don't wanna discard it, but I I want anyway, but <laughs> eh, not too bad of a battle. Could my master of fighting be still unrefined? Maybe. <laughs> Dark Dragon. Let's see a lot of duplicates. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't this new for you? Once during your turn, your Ivysaur retreats, use one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it. But, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> but there's also a disorderly mess. Does 10 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon chosen at random. Yeah, it's another one of those. Who knows how it's going to go. Delio, and I also believe based on that wording, if it is used on multiple Pokemon, like Blow 2, it'll only do 20 damage instead. I mean, like, excuse me, Blow 3, it'll do 20 damage in total instead, because it does it to three different Pokemon, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Rocket to Booster Pekka. Rainbow Energy, yes! This is a really interesting one here. It provides any type of basic energy. So mega, mega versatile. It's like energy search in energy form, but the card, it, it does dead 10 damage to the Pokemon it attaches to. So you might want to use this on something that has a lot of HP, of course. You know, but, but the thing about it is that this thing, this Rainbow Energy here, it's so versatile that people would still play it anyway, myself included, because of its... Because you'd basically just get anything out of that, so... And you could always calculate the 10 damage into things, like say, uh, using Absorb to recover that energy that you just took from Rainbow Energy, or whatever. Um, got that Dark Vaporeon, another Magmar, that's nice to see. And another Flopper. My fighting power is, was overwhelmed. This GR fighting coin is a suitable prize for such a strong adversary. Here, Mint, take the GR fighting coin. You know, I'm just gonna put it in that door behind you, right? <laughs> well, not that it matters, it seems like I get two copies of coins anyway. And my champ is in my possession. You can now open the doors behind me to continue your journey onward. Team GR's Psychic Fortress awaits. Since I've been defeated by you, I've been training hard to power up. Wow! You train quick! Have you returned the challenge of my fighting might once more? Fighting Pokemon are so tough here, no Pokemon can resist their attacks. You still need to win the battle, we mint. No. 
I guess ex I like expect as much. My fighting power is intimidating. Yes, you train hard. Once you power yourself up, return so you may have another competition. I won't wait for you while I power myself up, however. Suck your size coins, you know that dialogue. No. Yes. <laughs> and with that, it unlocks the Psychic Fortress. We're actually going to go back in here. Because remember, we still have to explore some stuff. Well, actually, I should start on this side. Actually, remember the, the labyrinth? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. So you still, you still kind of have to explore some stuff here to clear the place out. So we're gonna go open that chest, get ourselves an ambition booster pack. I actually thought I heard that those trapdoors opened up and you could see who they were after you beat all the members. That's why I thought I, I would wait on this, but I guess it doesn't. Anyway, <laughs> um, but, 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 uh, let's see what we got, okay, and by the way, this is the way over to, yeah, the other fighting club member, and I'm gonna go, I think it's up around this way, yes, and there is a trapdoor directly to the right of me, there, uh, another electabuzz. Okay. <laughs> so there, yeah, there's a trapdoor right there. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. No. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's go around this way this time. Um, Cause yeah, I think there is like a double dead end here. Where you're supposed to go here, and then you go over to here to get this one. And the present booster pack is a mina. So, uh, I don't think I showed this one. Discard all energy cards attached to weeping. Bit. Oh no, I think I did show that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that I said because it does the energy discards as well. So yeah, I did the. Oh, I didn't show the Pidgey. Uh, this could be like a sort of kind of scoop up ish, assuming you switch before. Yeah, so it's probably not as versatile as scoop up. But yet, at the same time, maybe it could be because it refills your deck as well with the cards that you would otherwise discard. So it may, it may be up to you if you want to play that. Um, okay. And okay, I'm gonna just check this out here. I should, I should say show you this really here. Uh, yeah, this is this version of Pidgey here. You switch them, but you do the damage before switching the Pokemon, and it costs two energy to do that, so it's kind of yeah. Eh. Eh, eh, up to you if you want. <laughs> uh, but I'm not actually going to use that, uh, at least as of right now. And there's a trapdoor to the right of that, as you know. And there's also a trapdoor up that way, if I remember correctly. Um, I think you're supposed to go around this way. And nope, that's the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I could have swore that those trapdoors showed after. Well, I mean, based on what I heard. But, yeah, uh, you know, internet. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I think actually, no, 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 wait, 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 actually, I think it's like this, and then like that, you go up and around this way. We gotta enter that treasure chest room from the top. There we go. Promotional card! Yeah! Let's go with the Doug Trio! <laughs> Remember the one we got the Doug Trio from the other room? You could peck! Got rolling movements, it may do 10 additional damage. And yeah, there's a trapdoor down there and a trapdoor on, in, yeah, over there. So we're not gonna go that way. We're gonna go around this way. And I think we go this way next. Okay, I got that one. Wait, what? Didn't? Oh yeah, that was the one I got from the other side, that's right. Then we go this. No, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hate this place! <laughs> hate it with a burning passion! Um, so yeah, this was... No, wait, no, 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 no that wasn't a trapdoor. So and I think it was... Oh, dang it, that was... Mm! <laughs> I think there's one more treasure chest around here. Let's see, so that way... Okay, so it was down there. I was right about that one, at least. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oops, we're gonna go up, right, down. Gimme, 
Actually, I think there's two more treasure chests. This one plus another one near the upper right corner-ish area. Uh, all stuff we've seen, okay. <laughs> and let's go, go... Oh yeah, trap there. And... Trap there, yeah. Dang it! <laughs> this place... is... the worst! <laughs> um... Can I just keep going straight up, or is it... No, I didn't think so. You had to do that detour over to the left side before you could take a, long, take a look along that other pathway. And that's what I thought. That's why I went this way first, like I was going to the second trainer, and then I went back around this way. Yeah. And then down this way was the other treasure chest. Yeah, this place is... Horrific to say the least. That led to a dead end. That that way led to a chest. Maybe I. It instantly pushed me into. I'm studying from this side. <laughs> See, if I start from this side, there is yeah, there's only that trap door there, and then we kind of start by that treasure chest instead. May actually, wait, wait, maybe I did get them all. Yeah, I think I did. Now that I think about it, because I got that upper right corner one that was along this path here, because what I did was I went around, uh... This, wait, no, I went around... <laughs> went around the other way to... like that, and... It... Well, I did something, but I got them all! <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when we won't do that again. Ever!